channel. My name is Maddie and I'm back with another video. And today's video is gonna be where I collaborate with my beautiful ladies, beauties over 40. Today we will be creating a eyeshadow look of our birthstone colors. And also go over and check out their channel and give them some love, y'all. Show them some love. Cause I know they did some amazing looks and and I know you guys will really enjoy. I was born in January and my birthstone color is Warnet and it's a beautiful, beautiful red color, you guys. And I couldn't wait to try to do this. It's either like a deep red burgundy look. If you could say it's Warnet. If you're new here to my channel, please don't forget to go ahead and subscribe down below. And also click on that post notification bell so you guys can be notified whenever I upload videos. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay beauties, I've already done my eyebrows and I'm taking the Heady Beauty Mob Obsession Palette and I'll be using maybe four of those shades out of that palette. And I will take this Smashbox Hydrating Eyeshadow Primer and this really is my first time using this primer, but I got it in a gift set, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. And we will also be doing a Would You Rather tag. And I will be answering, answering some questions for you guys. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'm going to go ahead and just finish uh, telling you guys what I'm doing. So I took that tan shade and used it as a transition shade. And I'm taking those two shades and I'm gonna apply them to the crease. And also that darker shade there when I'm sharing. And I would deepen the crease with that shade. So the number two question I didn't do, number one is just asking, would you rather chop off all your hair or never be able to cut it again? And I said, never be able to cut it again. Yeah. So I'd rather uh, not chop all my hair off. So right here, that dark, deeper shade, I'm just applying that right in the crease area of my eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of blend out the harsh lines. So now I'm taking that deeper, deeper kind of like purple shade. And number three, would you rather have a coral cheek or a pink cheek? And I'm a pink girl, and I think I would go with the pink. I prefer pink. So I'm um, also going into my Bling Boss Palette by Jaclyn Hill. And those two shades that I just shared, I'm just applying those shades to the lid. Back and forth in both of those shades. One is a kind of a shimmer shade. Not too much shimmer, but it has a little shimmer in it. And that's the shade that I'm applying to the lid in that shade as well. And number four, if you have, if you had a thousand dollars to spend, would you rather buy clothes or makeup? And I would rather buy clothes. Yes. So I'm applying that deeper shade to the outer V of my eye. I know everything is not looking good right now, but we're going to clean all of that up once I'm done. So I'm taking here some makeup wipes here. And I'm just going to clean up around my eyes and kind of do like more of a cat eye. So I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my face. And I will be using the AM V. It's the AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen of SPF of 30. Okay, on to the fifth question. Would you rather apply lipstick as an eyeliner or eyeliner as a lipstick? I would rather apply eyeliner as a lipstick. Because the eyes are very delicate and you just don't want anything like that. Kind of harsh on around your eyes like that. And for number six question, would, would you rather only shop at MAC Cosmetic or either Sephora. I would rather uh, shop at Sephora because you got a lot to choose from. I like MAC, I like Ulta, 
Ulta, but I would do Sephora because you have a lot to choose from. Okay, I got your face all moisturized and everything. And for my primer, I'm gonna use my Wonder Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. And um, I got this in my Boxy Charm for the month of the, uh, August this month. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Not sure how it's gonna work out. Y'all, I usually don't even prime my face. And, ooh, pinkish. And I'm just gonna warm it up on my fingers and then just apply it. So I'm not gonna use a primer today. And my, when I don't apply primer, my face, I mean, it does well. So on to the foundation. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Makeup Revolution foundation. This has been one of my holy grails, you guys. And I haven't been using a lot of foundation. What I've been doing is just like um, bit, applying it in certain areas. Like where my imperfections are. Right now, my skin is just going through something. Um, thinking about seeing a dermatologist. I don't know. I just guess it's just with age right now. So, yeah. I usually do it like this. Then I might add some more illuminating drops. Since I did add the oil, but I'm just going to put just a little... I don't want to put too much. And what I usually do, I take one of my Real Technique correcting brushes or either concealer brush, and I just kind of dab in the areas that I want to imperfect, you know, kind of cover. And I usually don't use this much, but for the sake of the video, I'm just using a little bit more of the foundation. And just make sure I blend it out good. And then if you have any pores or anything, large pores, it's kind of like blended, pressing, kind of putting a little bit of pressure on it, and it'll blend that foundation into those pores. Fill it in, even around your nose. And you guys, this has been working for me. I'm not saying someone needs to try this, but this is what I've been doing lately. I just make sure there's no harsh lines and kind of blend out. And sometimes I'll take my uh, Kabuki brush here by Sigma. It's the flat Kabuki brush F, uh, F80. And I might just go back over it or either my beauty blender. Then I take my MAC Skin Finish Mineralized Powder in the shade Dark. And, and I apply it all over my face. Sometimes, you know what, I let my foundation settle down, you know, because, you know, sometimes if you go right behind it, I think it makes it so much cakier. So, next question, number seven, would, would, would you rather only use one eyeshadow color or one lip color for the rest of your life? I can deal with one, because I usually do it every day. Most of the days I do, I use maybe one. And number eight, would you rather wear winter clothes in the summer or summer clothes in the winter? I think I would probably wear winter clothes in the summer, just layer it, cause I can always remove it. You know, if I had some, I could just layer it and then take off what I don't want on if, it, if I get very hot. Then I, I take my uh, Vanity Planet Stripling Flat Top Stripling brush, and I always use this to apply my 
my powder and I just tap off the excess and I just okay next I go in and do my contouring and all of that and you guys um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line and then I'm gonna add my some mess uh, some lashes these here are the lashes that I will use. I picked these up in my local beauty supply store. They are the Doll Cat, the Doll Cat, Cat Eye 3D Lash. I think I paid, what, $2.99 for these? We're gonna go on to the next question. Would, would you rather have dark nails or bright nails all year round? Bright nails all the way, all year round. So let me take one of my brushes here and I'm just going to go into my Kiss Contour Palette. So we're going to add some to the forehead over here because I have a big forehead. It runs in my family. Oh yes. Okay, you guys, I know y'all probably saying, where's her concealer? She hadn't applied any concealer, and I've already applied powder, and I've already did my contour powder. Sometimes, you guys, I don't apply concealer all the time. And lately, since it's been hot, I haven't been doing it. So, just for the sake of this video, since I've already added powder, I'm just gonna add just a little bit. And I might not even set the concealer. I don't know. I just haven't felt the use of using concealer. So I'm going to use this brush here. Just before I apply my uh, under eye. I know you guys. Y'all probably say this doesn't make sense. Sometimes I set it with the, my facial powder, and sometimes I just set it with, uh, and it doesn't look bad, you guys. It don't really look bad at all. And lately I've just been taking maybe my um, setting spray, and I spray it on my brush, and then I just let it, let it set. Cause I hate the dry look and I hate when my powder looks so dry. I can't stand that. So take your uh, powder brush, the one that you use, and just powder. And my eyes look good. Then I'm gonna kind of clean it up just a little bit. I might take my Sasha Buttercup. Then I'm going to go on to my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back into my Hitty Beauty Mauve Obsession Palette and use those same crease transition. Um, I'm going to start in my crease area and then the one that I use after my crease, which is this one first is what I use. Okay, then I'm going to go into this darker, deeper burgundy here. And put it more towards the outer part of my eye. And then I'm going to take that just deep burgundy here. Like a purple, dark kind of. And I'm just going to put it closer to my lash line. Alright. So now, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. And I'm going to do these off camera, you guys, so it won't take up so much time. Because I have to get perfect with these eyelashes. And so for the mascara, I will take my Believe Beauty Mascara. It is the HD Skinny Mascara. And you can get this from your uh, local Dollar General store. They have this uh, makeup brand. 
in their store. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And guys, I will be right back with you guys. We're going to do the lips. And I might add a little bit of blush. I'm going to go ahead and remove that powder. Then I'm going to contour my nose. And yeah, we'll be ready to go. Okay, you guys, I've already applied my lashes and I went ahead and put the mascara on my bottom lash line. And I added a little of blush and I used this shade, this blush here by Ioni Cosmetic. I don't even think they even exist anymore. But this is the blush that I use and it's called Miss Bliss, I think. And I applied the blush and I didn't put any highlighter on, you know guys. I'm keeping it a little bit simple. I'm going to go ahead with my MAC Gold Deposit. And I have plenty of highlighters here. But I'm just go ahead and apply some Gold Deposit here on my cheeks. The higher points of my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So I like to fan myself whenever I do that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead with the lips. For the lips, I have one I wanna use. It's really by um, Broadway or either by Kat Bun D. I have these two. I think I might go with the Kat Von D. And I think this Kat Von D came in one of my Boxycharm. Boxycharm, um, I don't know what month. But this here color is what it's looking for. I'm gonna put just a little bit of red by, which one is this? This here is by Broadway as, as well. I'm gonna see. Oh, you guys need a bit closer and I'm just going to apply and I'm going to add just a little bit of more the red. Well, okay guys, so we got the lips on. So we're going to go ahead and finish up our questions right quick. And the next one, number 10, would you rather give up your favorite lip product or your favorite eye product? Probably be my favorite lip product. I'll probably get it up before the eyes. For number 11, would you rather only be able to wear your hair in a ponytail or a messy bun? I, will, I would prefer a messy bun. On to number 12. Would you rather never be able to paint your nails again or use lip gloss? I think it would be my nails. I would rather use my lip gloss. I'm going to go with that. So, remember you guys, go ahead and put your question, I mean, answer the questions too as well so I can know. You can either do one or two or three of these out of the 14. Uh, 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 either if you want to do all 14 that I'm asking. So, I didn't really have number one. I thought I did, but um, I just started off with number two. So, for number 13, would you rather share your eye shave your eyebrows and have none at all or a Sharpie them in every day? Or a Sharpie them in every day. I guess to fill them in with the Sharpie. Mm, I would rather use a Sharpie to fill them in every day. To to have them have the look of them every day. Shave? No. Because your eyebrows is what really forms your face, what really does it all for you. In my opinion. I don't know how some people think, but yeah. Me, I prefer to have my eyebrows and I would fill them in with a Sharpie. Okay, for number 14, which is the last one, would you rather live without makeup or nail polish? I would rather live without 
nail polish. So you guys, that was the end of the tag, which was would you rather tag. It was 14 questions, but I did 13 of them. And I really like this. This was very fun doing. So you guys, this here is the final look of the January Garnet First Stone eyeshadow look. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it was very helpful to you guys if somebody else wanted to create this look. And if you do, don't forget to tag me here on Instagram. I have your my Instagram right here, right here down below. Tag me if you create this look. So this is it, you guys. And again, I want to thank all of you for watching. And until next time, be blessed. And don't forget to be a blessing. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye. Bye, guys. Mwah.